Welcome to your gold market update for today, Tuesday, the 6th of September 2022. Great to see you here, Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets, with your daily meander around what's happening today. Across the news wires, of course, the US markets closed yesterday for Labor Day. European markets were significantly down, though the FTSE managed to eke out small gains. Perhaps a little bit of resolution of the new Prime Minister just took a little bit of uncertainty away from the UK market. The DAX was uh, down in excess of 2%, which was slightly better than the futures had predicted. Consequently, we're seeing US futures continuing to trade positively in Asian trading as they were yesterday. Asian indices are also getting a little move up, trading higher. Uh, the ASX is holding on to gains. It was up in excess of half a percent, but of course, got the RBA ahead. And we're already seeing a little bit of caution with some money coming off the table at this stage. Uh, European equity futures are pointing to a flat open. For right now but of course that may change before this afternoon comes around in the fx world the us dollar index is closed slightly lower but is still around 20 year highs it's slightly lower in asia as well we are seeing gold bounce up off that 1700 level trading around 1725 which is a relatively important level technically oil gave up its early gains yesterday despite the opec production cut which was telegraphed to some degree into the market uh, copper is above 340 the vix remains just below 25 and that 200 ema bitcoin remains flat as it has done for some time now just under that important 20,000 level and of course on the data front we've got the rba rate decision uh, this afternoon we've got us services pmi of course that wasn't released with the rest of the global pmi numbers yesterday because of labor day and we've got german factory orders not a massive day today, but the return of the US market tonight may be interesting. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, the GB pound yen looks exceptionally strong on the hourly chart since Asian Open this morning. Possibly again on the back of that news of the new Prime Minister in the UK. Plus, we've had some Japanese yen weakness across the board. If we look at the daily chart, you can see that he has been trading within this range of around about 140 pips for the whole of August essentially and well into July also. So this is quite a significant move we're seeing here. We pop it back on there. This is that key level to the upside at 162.63. So you can see we're around about 10 pips through that on the hourly chart at the moment. So one to watch, we need to see some follow through on that. The volume has been quite large on this move higher suggesting that buying pressure is well and truly in on the asx it's very difficult to look past whitehaven coal all the coal stocks doing well uh, so there's whitehaven coal record highs up another 10 percent in the last few days another coal stock to keep an eye on maybe new hope corp limited you can see there they had the breakthrough yesterday through this 516 level and now uh, rampaging upwards and now at 562 so again another strong day so this again is a record high trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now